Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. I'm Mateo Villanueva, and welcome to WCTZ News. Today's episode of WCTZ News is sponsored by Shades of Green. Explore the family-friendly excitement of Central Florida from Shades of Green on Walt Disney World Resort. Attention seniors, please email all scholarship offers you have received to Mr. Drake as soon as possible. You do not have to be accepting the scholarships to report them. Now to Tenley Paul with a story on how the greatness of West Shore has kept alumni wanting more. For two teachers, West Shore's tight-knit community has drawn them back to their alma mater. What aspects of West Shore maybe want to come back? The community that I had are still here, that I was like close with. Familiarity with like the area, like knowing it so well, that's like the, I would say one of the biggest things. As a student, it's one thing, you're getting pushed, 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 pushed to be like the best student you possibly can be for your college, you know, applications and stuff. Now as a teacher, that's like a really interesting, intriguing way of approaching teaching where it's not just about getting the kids through the day, but actually hopefully, hopefully helping them become better students and one day become, you know, great people. When it comes to two teachers, the apple does not fall far from the tree. I came back because West Shore is a family, especially since everyone is here for six years. The kids are really close. The faculty gets close with the students, so it's a really special place. I love being able to work not only where I graduated and being able to see all the teachers that I had, but working with my mom makes it even more special, especially when I can just stop by whenever I want, say hello, give her a hug, see how she's doing during the day. I became associated with West Shore as a parent when Melanie came here as a student, but then now having her back here teaching leaves such a warm, happy feeling in my heart, mainly because she feels that she has a definite connecting with the students. Keeping it in the Wildcat family, this has been Tenley Paul for FSPA. Thank you, Tenley. Attention all fall dual enrollment students. The fall schedule is now available on the EFSC website. Please look up the courses you are interested in taking, prepare your dual enrollment registration form, and scan or email it to your guidance counselor for approval. The deadline to have your guidance counselor review and sign the registration form is Monday, May 16th. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. Sponsored by Shades of Green, this has been Mateo Villanueva. Have an amazing day, Wildcats.